the brand new anti-tank rifle inside of Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. We're going to test this thing out and see just how good or how bad this thing is because we are trying to test out all of the different kinds of DLC weapons and whatnot that have come to the game recently and this thing is probably going to be the bane of my existence. I threw a little bit of a sight on here just to make my life a tad bit easier. But my god, the ADS speed is so slow. I really do feel like this thing's gonna be good against something like the Stormkriegers, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Let's go pop through this Blitz objective here really quick and get going. I honestly have hardly used this thing over in multiplayer, so I am not prepared for what this is gonna be like. There has to be attachments that make the ADS speed on this thing faster, right? There's no way that it just stays like this. Hello? I just, I feel like in the higher rounds, this thing is going to be a problem with how friggin' slow it is. I'm interested to see what the Pack-A-Punch name is for it, though. So, let's get this thing going. The PTRS, the Gorenvank, the Gorv, the Gorvanko? How do you say this thing? The, the Gorvanko, Gorenko anti-tank rifle? I don't know. It's a gun. It is a gun. That is for sure. Sniper rifle. Honestly, once we start getting, like, super sprinters and such in here, I'm not. I, this is going to be awful. I'm not going to be able to kill anything. There's no way. <laughs> eh. Eh. A few moments later. Dude, oh, the reload is so slow. Oh, no. Eh. Eh. Why? <laughs> Why can't I punch this? There we go. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I feel like it does a ton of damage, and I, it might honestly be able to take out the Stormcrickers in, like, one hit. But we are so already so slow against the walking zombies. I can't even imagine what it's going to be again once we get some friggin' sprinters in here. Let's go do another blitz. I feel more... I trust myself more doing a blitz than I do anything else right now. The sound the sound when you, get a, when you shoot this thing is incredibly satisfying. I will say that. More so than anything else, I think the sound of this would make me keep using it. I don't know how- I would- there's no way I'd be able to do this with a regular sight. Oh my god, could you imagine how slow that is? Could you imagine how long it would take you to kill a zombie while using a regular sniper scope with this thing? Oh hell no. We can, we can almost pack a punch. The fact that they changed pack a punch in this game to 7500 instead of 5000 really pisses me off. Just, just so you guys know, I'm mad about it. <laughs> Uh, ooh, critical kills, return bullets to the, uh, to the chamber? That might be a W. That might be a fat W. If I, if I hit heads, I just never have to reload. Thoughts? That's, I think, the best part about the Covenant system in this game, is, like, you need, especially with a gun like this, you have the ability to pair something like Death Blow, where you get, an, you get a uh, bullet back in your clip every single time that you uh, kill a zombie with a headshot. Pair that with something like Deadshot and you're big city chilling. And then pair that with obviously the diabolical damage uh, perk. And like I think that the, the customization is super cool. It's just it's not done very well. I would love to try a bunch of different covenant combinations to see which works best for my playstyle. But I never know which ones I'm going to get each game, so I don't even know which ones I can really rely on. We're so close to being able to pack a punch. Oh, I am emo! Bro! Oh my god. Dude, I have like I have like the accuracy of a blind guy trying to pee through a Cheerio inside of the toilet. Like, hello? Dude, I'm gonna... <laughs> when we start having sprinters, this is going to be impossible. I have to use my bloodlust. Hold on. Is it still a one hit, one hit punch? Okay, cool, I gotta use this. <laughs> okay, so the fact that it's only a one hit kill right now if it's in the head is actually scaring me. Let's see. Like I shot that man's in the knee. Oh no, that is really not a good sign. I really figured this thing was gonna be a lot stronger than that. I gotta go equip surplus on this thing while, oh wait, you can't in zombies. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm sad about it all over again. I'm sad about it all over again. Oh, <laughs> why? Why can you not use proficiencies and kits inside of zombies? Oh my gosh, DLC one and season one reloaded and just happiness cannot find us soon enough. We're in a dark place. All right, survey says where the hell's the pack a punch? Survey says 
the name of the Gorenko. The, the name of the PTRS when it is pack a punched is the Avolution 41. Okay, okay. You only get eight shots? Oh my goodness. You only get eight shots. Ooh. Okay, okay. I didn't realize that you could, like, actually make this more of, like, a semi-auto. But, like, okay. Well, can I just do Can I do this the whole time? I could have shot like that the whole time. Am I stupid? Leave in the YouTube comments. Am I dumb? Answer me. Let me know. Oh, my gosh. This thing's so much better now. If I could have been doing this the whole time, then I'm just really dumb. I feel like I could have been doing this the whole time. I feel like Pack-A-Punch... Is not what made this possible, huh? Oh, I'm so stupid. Alright, well, we're gonna go do this transmit and act like it never happened. Honestly, I feel like at some point we're just gonna have to play Punch of Duty with this thing. Just a little bit of Punch of Duty. Everybody likes Punch of Duty. Eh, okay, yep, nice shot, Spesh. Thank you, Spesh. No problem, Spesh. Yup. Alright, this just in. Never let me use a sniper rifle in a zombie apocalypse. Alright, YouTube. Never... If you guys, if it's like you and me and we're surviving in a zombie apocalypse and you see a sniper rifle or like a stick, just make me choose the stick. I'll probably do more. I'll probably do better, honestly. We should start getting storm creakers this round, yeah? Theoretically. Let's take advantage of this double point so we're going to pop into whatever the last of the, uh, of the objectives is. See if we can get a storm creaker and see how this thing fares against the storm creaker. I feel like it almost has to one-shot the mans, right? Like, with how strong it is? I mean, it's a tank rifle. Oh my god, am I dead? Hold on. Am I dead? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, nice. It's still a two-hit to the body, even though it's pack-a-punched? Alright, maybe it's not gonna kill the Storm Creaker in one shot. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! I don't think it will. She no Numa, YouTube. Shino Numa Blitz. Just make just make it around. This is this is the new round based map instead of Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the new round based map in the hit game Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. Oh my gosh, Shino Numa has returned as the new round based map in the hit game Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. Yeah, that's how I'll get outside to go down to the swamp. <laughs> I really just want somebody to drop a friggin' thing of armor so I don't have to buy armor. Thoughts on that? Ready? Nice. I think I maybe killed one. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Alright, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. I do like that you can shoot through more than... Uh-oh. Oh, it did nothing. Uh... Nice! We got him! Act, act like that. Act like that was the first shot, YouTube. Act like that was the first shot. We'll look cooler to our friends. Let's, let's, let's double pack this. And then see. And then, let's go get some more diabolical damage. Okay? I want to take out the stupid Storm Krieger in one shot. Is that too much to ask? Why is punching in this game so much more fun than actually shooting the gun? Punching the zombies in this in Vanguard is more fun than actually shooting the gun. Please don't hurt me. Actually, you know what? The one shot we put on him actually did pretty dang good there. This thing's fun, I just, I don't, like, especially for higher rounds, not that anybody ever can stay awake long enough to actually do high rounds in this game, but, like, higher rounds with this thing probably isn't necessarily, it's doable, but there are plenty of better options, you know? How many zombies can we shoot through at once? Two. One. Two. Okay, maybe it is like Cold War. Can you guys please call a Storm Krieger to come in? What are we doing here? Oh! Okay, okay, shh, shh, shh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys chase this. 
Oh, okay, okay, we two shot him. We two shot him. We were close. That's a shame, man. There's still hope. There's still hope. We just need we just need some good covenants. Get this back bunch tier three and see what we can do. Okay, let's go buy one more thing of diabolical damage. And then we're going to try to pack a punch tier three this bad boy. Seriously, how has nobody dropped some armor yet? Like, please, please just drop me some armor. I don't want to have to spend my salvage on it. Purge is the uh, the absolute worst objective. Thoughts on that? Comments, questions, concerns? Or are we all in agreement? We all in agreement this is the absolute worst objective. Oh no. Hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone, dude. I do not consent to being blown to bits, sir. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> yeah, this gets a little hectic in the later rounds. Uh-oh. Dog, I can't even see this man. He's not even in here. Oh my god, he's got wall hacks. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do the storm creakers have wall hacks? No! I don't even know where the next thing is. I am so lost right now. What is happening? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we lo we lose. L. L. 17 seconds. Doesn't this take 10? Or 5? If it takes 5, we might win. Oh, no we won't. Because we just lunged out of the whole thing. We lunged out of the... We did it! Oh my god! <laughs> I really thought we were going to lose. Oh no! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, we got Deadshot! Let's go! Okay. Alright. Perfect. Um, oh, I don't know what to do with my hands. Alright, we need we need armor. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. We need armor. This is taking too long. I bet you the first zombie we kill is going to drop armor. Oh my gosh, it got so close! It got so close to one-shotting him. I am so sad! Okay. If, if, oh, if we had Pack-A-Punch Tier 3 right now, it would have 100% one-shotted him. Uh, I guess, okay, so let's put, if we put Swift Vengeance on, technically speaking, as long as we're moving. Oh, God, the faster you run, though, the bigger the bonus. Oh, my gosh. I gotta try and run fast while doing this. Suck! It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> Insta kill? Oh my god, there's there's no 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 way we don't do it right here. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Can you kill a Storm Krieger in one shot? Survey says Oh my god, I didn't hit him. I blew oh my god, I blew up the Storm Krieger didn't, or the, the Boom Shrier. That didn't count. Oh my god, we need another Storm Krieger. Go! No <laughs> I'm dead inside. Oh! We did it! <laughs> the swift vengeance worked because we were running so fast! Yes! Finally! Okay. Alright. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. So the question is, did he die because the Boom Shrier blew up? Or did he die because we shot him? That's the real question here. Oh, no. I'm not sure. Alright, well. There's only one way to figure this out. We're gonna go, we're gonna go triple pack. And do the Blitz Blitz objective. We're going to find a Storm Krieger and we're going to show him who's boss. Going into the Blitz objective, see what we can do. Let's one shot a Storm Krieger. No, oh, baby. Yeah, there's no way. If it does 24,000 headshot damage, if you hit a headshot on the first crit and you're moving, oh, there's no way it doesn't one shot him. That would. Oh, I hear one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Nice! Yes, sir! Uh! Yeah! Let's go, YouTube! Alright, I think it is safe to say that the Gorenko, the, the Gorenko, this gun, the PTRS, is actually really, really fun to use in zombies. I don't know if it's necessarily the most uh, reliable thing to use in zombies, but it is a hell of a lot of fun. Let me know what other guns you guys want to see us try out inside of this mode. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel, and an extra special shout out to all of the Zombie Richtoff members, starting off with the M60 wielding maniac, Deathwish, my guy, Ben the Bulldozer, and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiz Brandon, ZR.